sponsored by Zach Ciota Records. Great music, awesome technician. ZachCiotaRecords.com We ride it high. All right, guys, we're checking out this Ream 13 PJL48. It's a heat pump from 2014. It is R410A. We're gonna check it for a grounded compressor because it is popping the breaker immediately. Compressor. Get the meter set up on continuity. Always test it. There she is. She's beeping. Alligator clip on the compressor. No short to ground there. The compressor doesn't seem to be grounded. All right, I've got to get me a new mega ohm meter. I don't have a new mega, but what I want to do now is leave the compressor unplugged and then go flip the breaker and see if it stays on and see if just the condenser fan motor runs. And if it does, if the breaker does stay on with the compressor unplugged, then we know that we do have something wrong in the compressor, even though the meter is not showing continuity to ground, we still could have an issue in that compressor. So I'm gonna leave it unplugged. I'm gonna lay the fan back on top, maybe put one or two screws in it. and then try the breaker again. screws in here all right all right I can't go in there with the camera on my head so we'll get right back to y'all guys as you can see the condenser fan motor is running the compressor is unplugged which means that something is wrong with the compressor there is a short in the compressor even though the meter 
did not beat continuity to ground. This is where a mega ohm meter really comes in handy. I lost my mega ohm meter. I just had the little subco with the lights. I lost it. I cannot find it. I need to get a new mega ohm meter. Um, I believe I'm going to go with the reed like Zach has. Uh, but I've got to get a new one because I would really, really love to put a mega on this on this compressor. It's, it's actually killing me that I cannot put a mega on it. Uh, but we definitely have a compressor issue because, I mean, when you unplug the compressor and the breaker stays on, something is shorted in the compressor. Why the meter is not showing continuity to ground, I don't know. But, I mean, this, this is a grounded compressor. All right, guys. Well, we're all done with that compressor. Uh, you know, I've, I've had a couple like that lately. Uh, I had a... I want to say it was another Rude that did that to me. Rude or Ream. Uh, popping the breaker right away. You uh, check continuity to ground with your meter, but you don't have continuity to ground. But when you unplug the compressor and you go turn the breaker back on, everything runs. Um, like I said, I, I'm disappointed that I don't have a mega ohm meter to, to check it with. I'm going to order me a mega ohm meter uh, tonight. I've got to have another one. I'm going to get the read like Zach has. I really, really would have liked to have put a mega on that thing. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, But, you know, as you saw, I unplugged the compressor. I left the plug out. You know, that also ensures that there's no shorts in the compressor wires and everything. Because um, I have seen that before. But by leaving the wires intact on the contactor and just unplugging the plug, we know it's not the crankcase heater because the crankcase heater was still wired up. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't even know if that thing had a crankcase heater on it. I, I don't remember. But um, so that's not the issue. It's definitely some, there's definitely something wrong in that compressor. I mean, you know, to, to unplug it and go put the breaker back on and it runs, something shorted out in that compressor. That compressor is shorted. So we, uh, it's under warranty. We'll get him a new one. And we'll put it in and he should be fine. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching. And we will see y'all on the next one.